Well, a veterans park in Belle Plaine City, Minnesota, once featured a small Christian monument. That was dangerous and offensive, of course. So there were lawsuit threats, and the city declared the monument's location a free speech zone. But that, in turn, drew the attention of a Satanist group, which wanted to erect a satanic shrine in the park. Now, the city is reversing itself and has decided to remove all religious symbols from the park instead. Lucien Greaves is the co-founder of the Satanic Temple, and he joins us tonight. Uh, Lucien, thanks for, for joining us. Um, I don't know much about Satanism. What, is, what are the five pillars of Satanism? What is it? We have seven tenets, actually, and actually they're irrelevant to our claim to be allowed in the free speech zone. Well, they're this relevant to your claim to be a religion. Wait, slow down. They're relevant to your claim to be a religion, and so I just, just give us a sense of what actually, it is. Actually, us is being it, a religion has no bearing on us having I'm, I'm a claim aware to the free that, speech you, zone either. But you do claim to be a religion. I just want to know what it is. Is it, a, is it the worship of Satan? No, we're actually non-theistic, and modern Satanism has been recognized as non-theistic for some time now. There are actually scholars of modern Satanism. There's books about new religion oh, that cover Satanism. But as I said, it really has no bearing on our claim, claim to access to the free speech. I mean, so. I guess the reason I'm pressing you on this is because I, I sort of know a fake media story when I see one, and the whole Satanism thing seems like that. And I'm trying to take you seriously because I take religious people seriously, all of them. But this seems like a way to sure. just kind of give the finger to everyone else. I mean, there are probably not a lot of Satanists in this town of 6,600 in Minnesota, are there? Well, there are some, and there are veterans. There's a good deal of veterans within our, within our ranks. We have about 100,000 members, many veterans, and there are veterans who don't identify with us who still stood up for our right to speak. And we find that very often when we ask for equal access in the open forum. It's usually veterans who come forward and speak right. in our defense, and they say well, that I mean, look, these I, values I, of free speech and pluralism are the values that they fought for. Amen, and I agree with that wholeheartedly, hence your appearance tonight. I think people should have a right to speak, but also they should have to answer questions. And the right to speak and the right to sort of give the finger to the residents of this little town in Minnesota are not exactly That was the not same what we thing. were doing. The, the, well, the monument, if you, if you... No, of course it is not. So if you look at the monument, it's very respectful, it's reverent, it's a very sober... Uh, uh, simple monument, really, and, and to, it, uh, to, to it encourages what? It's a monument a, to what? To veterans. It, it, this was first and foremost something to honor the veterans, the veterans who have fought and served. All veterans. Not all veterans are Christian. Not all veterans are Satanists. But they did fight for pluralism and they did fight for free speech. And to that end, it's it's nice to know that we can preserve those values. When they shut down the open forum. Uh, we weren't actually celebrating that. We built this monument. We were ready to install it. We wanted to put it there. And it seemed like the, the residents of Belle Plaine weren't entirely uh, up in arms about this. Uh, some of the word we got back said people thought our, our monument design wasn't anything to complain about. The protesters from a Catholic organization, they also were out of state. And we get this stuff about well, a small town I mean, and beating be, up on a small town, but there's well, no but reg what, regional boundaries on free speech. Really, I don't know. Try it in downtown Birmingham, Alabama, or Chicago or something. But, I, I mean, look, here's the point I'm making, is that there's no comparison between Satanism, which is like a silly made-up religion which has no God, even non-theistic, as you've conceded, and Christianity or Judaism or Islam, which, you know, you agree or disagree, believe or not, but they're millennia old. They run hospitals, churches, schools. They form the basis of our civil society. They don't really compare to what you're doing, do they? Well, we're getting there. We're, we're a very growing population, and we should defend pluralism and free speech. We can't allow America to divide itself into regional theocracies. Imagine a place like Clearwater, Florida, which is almost entirely colonized by Scientologists. Are they going to shut down the open forum for uh, only veneration of L. Ron Hubbard or introduce Dianetics as compulsory in their schools? And imagine Look, the I mean, civil I, war I, that would ensue if, I, if Muslims I actually agree, no, started. Sorry, I agree with your point strongly that people okay. ought to be allowed to express divergent views in public. I just don't want to be sucked into the trap of having to take seriously what is clearly not a serious thing. Do you know what I mean? So it's, it's one thing for me to agree with you and say, I, I, yeah, I we're both for free speech, but this if is, we, if we weren't, if we weren't being serious, I would understand America. what you're saying. I think okay. if you learn anything about the Satanic Temple, you'll see that we must be serious. We can't have these types of numbers. We have chapters internationally. We're quickly I don't believe growing your numbers for a and second. And I mean, I don't, I don't, what, what is that even? So like on, you don't have average, to. Well, I, I don't believe the numbers of any group that comes on the show. I always divide sure. by 10 and that's probably an overstatement um, for any group, but especially yours. But before we go, okay, just tell so us. Okay, so what if it were two? 
So what if it were two? The principle I mean, would be that the principle... still have equal access yes, to the open would. forum. You would have the right to say what you think if it was just you. And I, and I would be willing to defend that right. But again, the point of calling this Satanism is to horrify, like, normal people in the middle of the country. That is exactly the That's point. That's not true. No, okay. no, that is not exactly the point. So what the is the point? point? Just and, to and sum I it up for me, that point. I'll give you 30 seconds. What's the point of Satanism? Well, to sum up a, a religious movement in its history in 30 seconds isn't quite fair, no, but no. I would say that. Okay. But I would say that uh, Satanist, Satanism embodies Enlightenment values. It is uh, emblematic of the ultimate rebellion against tyranny. Uh, to that end, we look at the, the history of the, the crushing of the church and the rise of Enlightenment values and the rise of pluralism and diversity and multi multiculturalism as inherently satanic. Yeah, I think what you're doing is you're taking a Christian symbol, Satan, and using it against Christians. I mean, that's kind of the point, because you could have chosen sort of anything to name this group, since it's basically new, and you didn't. You chose the one thing that Christians hate the most, so again, it's... Because By Satanism nature. means something to us. It's not. It's not an arbitrary label. Right. I wish you. Were I think more you could really get into it. Yeah. Probably not. Lucien, thanks for joining us. I appreciate it. Thank you.